Hey, it's Eric from Neater Nest. I'm going to show you how to take a soft close mechanism and adapt it to work with the Freedom Clamp mounting brackets. The main problem is that there's not enough clearance between the Freedom Clamps and the top of the door. And so we're going to make a piece of wood that's going to be thin enough to go underneath the mounting brackets, but it will stick out behind the door enough to catch the soft close and we're going to mount the soft close to the wall rather than mounting it to the track. So I'm starting with a piece of half inch and I'm just going to mark on the back here. And then I'm going to cut those. Alright, now that I have my two little blocks, I'm going to uh, line these up. These are going to catch in the soft close and then I will um, I'll drill some holes and we'll screw that to the top of the door and then we'll screw this to the wall. As an alternative to making your own stop block you can use the included block that comes with the soft close mechanism and instead of screwing it to the top of the door you screw it to the back side. It just means you need about an inch and a half of clearance above the top of the door opening so you don't see it from the inside. If for some reason you don't have the clearance behind the door, then make your own wood stop block and mount that to the top of the door. So first I need to find the right position for the soft close mechanism and I'm going to use my wood block to set that on top of the door and find the, the right position where it's going to activate the soft close. And then I'm going to mark those holes and right now I'm just screwing them to the wall with some long drywall screws and then I'll go back later and put some more solid anchors into the wall. Um, but for now just some simple wood screws will hold it in place. Now I'm just marking my position for the wood block where I'm going to mount that to the door. And then I also need to cut this block off so that it can fit behind the freedom clamps. And now I've got it cut off and it fits right underneath the clamp. I have some small little wood screws and just countersink those into the wood block. And I'm gonna use some CA glue just to give it a little bit extra bond. And I had just enough clearance to get my drill up there. I was hoping to not have to take the door off. and it works perfectly. Now I'm going to mount the other side and I decided instead of using a second stop lock that I would just reuse the same stop lock and just adjust the position of my soft close. And so I just slid my door to where I wanted it to stop and then position the soft close over the top of the block and screw it to the wall. Thanks for watching and purchasing our Hardware Evolution products. We are constantly improving and adapting our technology for compatibility, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel to see all of our great projects.